so Rock Candy by uh, Montrose. Great song. You know, really, really good band and a great album. Um, Bad Motor Scooter. Uh, there's so many good songs on that record. But this one, I think, is a real sort of standard for rock guitar players. And Ronnie Montrose was a great guitar player. Blues-oriented, very heavy, heavy rock. This song is kind of a mixture of uh, Zeppelin and Hendrix, really, if you think about it. Um, there's a lot of... A lot of foxy lady in this, a little bit of the levee breaks with the drum thing, you know, so it's a real combination of, the, of those two. And uh, Ronnie Montrose, uh, man, when I was doing the research on this song, I found out so much stuff about him that I had no no clue about. Like I, I knew that he played in the Edgar Winter Group and they, uh, on that They Only Come Out at Night, and uh, uh, you know, he's the guy going... doing all those great lead fills in that song and of course he played in the whole album but the thing I didn't know was that he played with Van Morrison and a bunch of other people like Boz Skaggs, Herbie Hancock, uh, Nicolette Larson uh, I'm looking at the list right now on Wikipedia it's crazy all the people he played with um, and he actually came up with that lick that starts Wild Night by Van Morrison um, You know, crazy that. I had no idea that was him. Anyways, a uh, really good guitar player, very well-rounded player, too. So let's get into the song. Let's go over the intro first. So we've got that big drum intro, and we're going to come in on a slide down from the 12th fret in the E string. So slide down, open, little hook on E3, and then the E note on D2. And when I, you pick this, you want to dig in a little bit, right? You know, with your finger and a bit of your thumb. Like, if you're just going to use the tip of the pick, you're going to get that. If you dig in a bit, you know, you're going to get that little harmonic bite to it, right? Okay, so. And then we're going to follow that with. And that's E open, E3, E4. A2, D2. R2, D2. <laughs> A2, D2. And there's a couple of different ways you can play that. The way he does it is he goes first finger on A2 and first finger on D2. Kind of rolls it, right? I don't know if you can see that, but you, know, you should have jumped your finger over there. Um, I prefer to do it second finger on D2, right? doesn't matter which way you do it, whatever way is better for you. And then we do it again. And then we go just D, A. Right? And then it all repeats. But there's a little he does a little fill in there and he's kind of like, if you really listen carefully on the record, that's been overdubbed, right? And Kind of slides up with his pick and then down from about E15. Okay, but you can do whatever you want there. Um, and then right into the DA again. And you could go down, down, or down, up, right? I think I did down, down. Okay, and that repeats a few times. And then we finally get into the verse. And the verse, um, really what it is, it's just a jam on E, right? And the feel of it is, it's just, it's Foxy Lady, basically, right? So it's... Right? So... That's the essence of the whole verse. And then he just puts fills in as you go along, right? Okay, so... Um, and he ad-libs a lot of these fills, you know, as the song goes on, he's always throwing in different stuff. What I've done in the lesson, or the demo, is I just did the first couple of verses and the chorus and kind of ended it, because I just, I couldn't learn every single fill. Right? But I'll show you these ones, and, uh, you know, the rest of it you can sort of figure out on your own, or just use your own stuff. Right? The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go... And that first fill is always a bit different. The second fill is always the same, right? And then the third fill is different, and the fourth fill is... 
I'll show you all these in a second, but there's a pattern to it, right? So the first one. Right? It's just open E, the E and B string, and then E, slide up to G4, right? Um, B3, E3, to E5, B5, the E note. Right? And then we're going to go, and now we do this one. And that's just open E, I'm going to turn this down, E3, um, and then open A, A1, A2, open D, and make sure you're muting, you know, don't, you know, don't hit the G string there, uh, just keep your palm on here and keep it muted. Okay, now we do this again. And we've got another fill, which is instead of going, we're going to go. Right? It's just a classic sort of blues fill. So we're slide up to G4, um, B3, B5, then, right? Pull off, pull off, D2 open. Okay, so so far all together we've got and then we then we're gonna follow that with then just D two, D open, A two, A open, G note on E three. So that's the whole first cycle. So let's just play that real slow. Now we're gonna do the next cycle and that's gonna go like this. And that like instead of Going up there, I'm gonna go right. And then we're this again. Okay, so that repeats. And then we're gonna go. And this is a cool look. So that's. we're going to kind of bend when we hit that uh, G note on E3. And we're going to kind of push that, right? And it's kind of that rhythm. So. Hopefully you're keeping up with this. <laughs> you know, when licks are similar, they're always a little harder to learn because you get them all confused, right? So let's go over that whole thing so far. That's two complete cycles now, right? So now we do the next cycle, and that's going to start like this. Which is really cool. I really like that, like, because you're throwing in that F sharp note, which is like the ninth, you know? So it's kind of, kind of shows that uh, Ronnie Montrose was thinking a little outside the box with a note like that, right? So, right, just straight up on the B string. And then, of course, we go, that again okay and now we're gonna go and 
and that's another lick very similar to the other ones and it's right then and then we're going to play the lick heading into the chorus which instead of going we're going to go right there add that a flat or a b flat and every time you head into the chorus you don't go you go and then we're into the chorus okay so let's try that whole deal Okay, now we're into the chorus, and the chorus goes like this. Okay, so we're just on an A here. So dun dun, and that's just you know you you put um, you fret B three and D four, classic kind of rock Keith Richards kind of thing, right? And then we're going to go, we're going to slide that up to um, D5 and B5. So slide it back down. And then, right? Okay, and then that's the point where, um, you know, in the chorus, when we get to that part, there's two guitars come in, right? Two, uh, one on the left, one on the right. And so we go. And one of the guitars goes. And you can hardly hear that, but that's what he's doing. And man, is that, you know, what is that, right? That's a dead ringer for uh, Foxy later, right? It's a different key. Right? So, so that's what one guitar does. And the other guitar goes... So that's just a you know, single shot on the E and then a unison bend on E12 with the B string. Try and get a little vibrato on that. So it's one. Two, two, one, two. So one, then we repeat. Then we're gonna go. So we unison bend here on F sharp. Again, we got that F sharp, which is. That, that ninth, which sounds just so so good, right? Put a little vibrato on that. And then the next note is gonna be which is like the D note, right? The unison bend again. With vibrato. Then drop it down a fret, right? So we've got unison bend. We're gonna finish it off by going with your first finger. You're gonna bend G2 and pull it off. And we're back to the intro lick. And the thing is, like, don't do what I just did there, right? When you hit that open E, don't have that G ringing. Okay, that's you know gonna make it sound really sloppy. So you want to go. Right? Mute E. Right? Mm -hmm. 
and we back to the intro, and then we've got another fill. Okay, and that, again, that fill is overdubbed, and that's hard, that one. So we got bend on uh, 5, G5, G7, whole step bends, and then a whole step bend on G12, and then down, down. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So the four is the slide, right? And then the B and the A. So. Okay, that's really a hard one to do. And you can tell that is also overdone. Right? And then it goes into the solo, and the solo is really good. Just based around that, and uh, you know, he kind of jams the first bit out, and then he gets into that. I'm not get, going to get into the rest of it here in this lesson. I may do that in a, in a different lesson. But um, this is a great song to learn because it really shows you uh, how powerful simple licks can be um, if you play them clean, right? And it's all about playing clean, you know. Um, You know, single note, every note is clear as a bell, right? You don't want to get into the, into the... You know, a lot of guys I think would do that. You know, playing a chord there, right? But... And digging in with your pick, you know? getting a nice attack. A lot of guys will ask me about my sound, you know, my amp, my strings, pickups, all kinds of stuff. And yeah, I mean, they make a difference for sure. And you know, I'm not talking like I'm the greatest guitar player or anything, but really the sound. That's all just the way you're picking it. That's with the pick, and this is digging in. You know, it's just little things um, in the way you attack the strings that is going to be a big part of how you sound. Right? Anyways, great song, really fun to play in a band. Um, if you've got a good drummer, you know, and a good singer, of course. Anyways, that's it. I hope you get something out of it. I hope you have fun playing this one. It's a gas to play. And yeah, we'll talk to you next time. <laughs>